Hello everyone, I'm Anodi, aka Kanambo, I'm so Karibuni, Tuangalia Soko. Big up. So guys, it's another beautiful day. We are right here in Mombasa Island, Sawatwa is a pizza. We are at Kongoya Market and I'm going to show you one of the biggest and personally to me one of the most organized markets I've come across as of reason. So I'm with Arnold today, he's just introduced himself earlier and we are doing this for you guys. Let's go! It was high time I brought you this video of Kongoya Market, guys. This open-air market isn't just any market. It's a historical gem that has been a vibrant part of the local community right here at the coast for decades. Let me tell you something about Kongoya Market. Back in the day, Kongoya Market uh, was a small trading post. It was just like a small beginning, you know, mini market here and there, popping up and there. A place where the locals could find what they needed without a fuss. But fast forward to today, as you can see, Kongoya Market has grown into an absolute powerhouse of commerce. You know what they say, go big or go home? This market took that saying to heart. It's now one of the largest open air markets in East Africa. I hope you grabbed that. It's now one of the largest open air markets in East Africa, which means it attracts traders from all corners of Kenya and beyond the borders. Just check it for yourself to believe it. Guys, I had no idea, but apparently today is a market day. I had not planned for this, just thought let me just go to Kongoya and do this shoot. But today is a designated day when all traders flock to this place. You know, sellers, buyers, both retailers and wholesalers. And I happen to just be in the midst of it. As you can see, there's a little, a little not even a little bit. It's just a lot of overcrowding. They're pushing and they're shoving. We are all just making a beeline to wherever we are headed to. So I, I, I was quite impressed to just find the market operating at its fullness. No. No. Now, 
a few guys are threatening to beat me up for uh, being at this place and for them seeing the camera they're threatening to, uh, to beat me up because i'm recording the place uh, truthfully um this is the first kind of aggression i've received just at the start of this particular shoot and uh, courageously as i'm still holding my camera and walking uh, with arnold i'm quite intrigued i don't know whether other vloggers experience the same thing when they come down to Kongoya market because i've been to other spaces in mombasa and i've not come across such aggression and you know most of them are men they throw sentiments at you like oh bring that camera bring that phone you're recording us we don't want to be recorded and truthfully this is a public space and i don't think i am doing anything wrong i don't know whether other vloggers have experienced this at Kongoya market kindly guys let me know in the comments have you ever been threatened when you're out doing this especially at Kongoya market because it is supposed to be a safe space mm. Mm. Na tafutia iliki by the way. Iliki. So guys, this is the main market right here at Congo where this is exactly the point where they sell foods, vegetables and all that. And as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty sight. It's quite busy here on Mondays because I've been here on other days and it didn't look as busy as it looks today. But this is exactly what goes on. Like, <laughs> Eh hapa nafanya kazi hakuna matope, hako sawa, sinyeshewu. Eh. Hii ndio nasomesha watoto ndio nalisha wafamilia. Eh. So today being a Monday and also being a market day here at Kongoya, uh, I, I see a lot of lorries lined up of loading uh, the goodies, of loading uh, the wares, of loading uh, vegetables, all everything that's supposed to, uh, to be sold right here. And uh, this is the section that I saw that was most active with that happening. As you can see, there are watermelons there. <laughs> this was interesting. I had to stop and just record for a minute there. It was just interesting the way they were offloading. But anyway, so that's what happens. And oh, you can also see, I think it's a bit more packed than usual because I've been here before, but not really uh -huh. on a market day. And uh, this is because Congo where a lot of the time deals in wholesale.
The market is well segmented into very organized stalls where you can find particular things at particular places. Just in case you walk in and you don't know where to head, when you ask, you'll be pointed in the right direction. You know, people direct you and exactly where to find the fruits, uh, vegetables, where to find shoes, where to find clothes, where to find exactly what you're looking for. Literally everything is under one roof here at Kongoya Market, so you cannot miss anything. The market operates uh, 24 hours. Now, the one thing about this particular market is that it is a very resilient place, meaning that it has withstood the test of time because there was a time it was raised down by a fire. And uh, the local traders here, together with the county government, had to come together and rebuild uh, the place. So, uh, Kongoya market, as you see here, is a Kongoya market that you're going to still see tomorrow. It's a very resilient place. Now, this very recently built three-story building that I'm in right now stands tall here at Kongoya Market. It was part of an initiative to modernize Kongoya Market and just uh, take it from one level to another. Now, the building acts as both as a wholesale premise and also a warehouse. And this is exactly where you can come buy whatever you want to buy, you know, the, the goods in wholesale. And it's also a storage. This is where all mm -hmm. that has been shipped into the country or that is going to be exported is stored. Okay. <laughs>
truthfully guys that incident traumatized me to the core i had no idea whether to end the video here or just continue or i have no idea because i've always believed congoya is a very safe place and i'm trying not to exaggerate because i believe the security at congoya is really good but it does not warrant such an expression in such a place So guys, this is a public market and uh, set up and managed by the county. Guys, this market is big. Like, there's no end to it. When I think I'm done, Anno just gets another corner and we are in another place with totally different things to see. So this is where all the coconuts come from. Um, we know that Philippine people know that we are in Loma. We are in Loma. We are in Loma. Because <laughs> Kazi kwa chini kabisa. Yeah. Not... Niko na miezi sita sasa hii. Nikifanya hii kazi sita. Yeah, na iko na challenges mingi sana. Mosole like, unaona atuko kwa nyumba, kukinyesha, angeshoa kama mbaya, mtu anakumbaridi, ameganda mikono lakini inakuwa lazima ufanye hiyo kazi. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you for? Yeah, baby girl. What are you like a liar? 
well guys thank you so much for watching so kindly share this video like and leave a comment you know let me know how you feel about the incident that happened right here uh, to me and uh, we can talk about it we can dialogue about it now guys thank you so much for those who haven't subscribed kindly consider doing so for those who have thank you so much and kawaii i'm really thankful